today I will uh, show you how to read the memory of this uh, ignition switch. This ignition switch is from an old Benz, it's a W202. It's a very old car and uh, the memory inside it's uh, a Motorola HC05X32. In this case I already unsoldered the memory. Memory is located here and this is the, the memory. The mask of the memory it's uh, one D sixty nine G. I saw this. It's a, a hard chip. A lot of people have uh, have issue reading this chip um, due to many facts. Normally, this chip or any other uh, chip or mask from this uh, range, HC05X32, can be readed without any issue with Xprog. If you're reading, it's failing, it can be due to many other reasons. I can tell you some of them. Uh, this chip it's sensitive if you hit it too much with airflow it will not work properly to read it it will fail uh, if anyone already tried to read it uh, before you one second I need a napkin okay if anyone tried to read it before you, uh, this can be the reason of failing. It can be blocked very easy. It can be erased also very easy if you don't have uh, uh, proper tools. I had uh, this issue a couple days ago. I received an ignition switch same uh, part number like this I have here and I try to read the chip for about two or three hours I was not able to to read the chip uh, with Xprog I tried with UPS I tried with a lot of other programmers but always was failing to read it what I did, okay, uh, the problem was the ignition switch was working. So the memory, if I put it in the car and inserted the key, the car was uh, the key was recognized. The car was working, but I was not able to to read the chip to make a second key, and uh, that was very strange for me. What I did, I went to, to the scrapyard, I buy uh, a used ignition switch, which I found it there. And I said, okay, I will get a second ignition switch, same chip, same mask. But this was not uh, tried to be read by someone else before me. And what I did, I took out the chip, I put it and it's reading. So normally if you know your tool has been read this type of chip before, it's not a problem with your tool. Uh, I saw a lot of people struggling to read it, but it's fake. But if your tool is already validated, let's say like that, and it's a uh, Read that in the past, this chip, don't worry, the chip is bad and don't uh, lose too much time on the, on the job. What I will do, 
I will uh, solder fast the, the chip on the X-Prog adapter. So normally the, the X-Prog adapter, it's this one. It's marks HC05BX programmer. This is the, the newer version. I have also the values of the resistor on the back side. And I have an older version of adapter which doesn't have the writings here. This is from an old tool, but the marking inside it's it's the same. If we cross check the date, the architecture, it's it's the same. So I will solder here the chip and we will read it with the uh, x -Pro. what i will show i have another chip another mask which i will solder here and uh, do the reading but the family it's the same it's x32 Only the mask I will check later a little bit, which is really the the mask of that chip. Okay, the pin, the pin number one, it's here. So we will solder with this, the dot. that to be here and the arrow starting forwarding in down position what i will do i will place it i hope it's okay we'll try to secure it and then I will add some flux and soldering. Add somehow a little bit to, to secure the position of the chip. Okay. Let's solder it. Normally this one it's older. Okay, I got the second chip. It's from the same class, but the marking it's 0D62G. This is the marking, but I will solder this one also on this adapter and then we will proceed reading both of them.
code are soldered and now let's switch to the to the computer and the reading i will read first uh, this one from the ignition switch it's of course the one d69g which it's failing to a lot of people to be written so let's let's begin from the computer okay now we are on the computer what we'll do we will go at device we'll uh, select in CU we will select uh, Freescale NXP HC05 and we will look for our chip so our chip it's this one it's the mask one D69G we hit OK I have already inserted the, the board into, into the programmer. Uh, it's looking like this. So the board is there. We hit on new. And we click read device it doesn't need to have uh, extra external power it needs to be readed as uh, the voltage from USB This is the reading of uh, 1D69G. If your XPROG is uh, sitting uh, on bypass security, that means it's, it's a problem with, with the chip. If you already read in the past uh, this chip with your programmer. But always uh, don't stack it one chip. If you try to read one specific mask and it's not able to read, try to find a second chip and uh, see if it's reading. Otherwise, you will lose a lot of time. So this one, it's from the ignition switch, so has been read successfully in a couple seconds without uh, any issue. Now what I will do, I will switch to the second chip it's, as you can see it's x32, x32 it's only a different mask of the chip and let's see if uh, this chip can be readed So we click on new, we have 0D62G. Okay. Let's click on the read. Also, this one has been read without any issues, but I know if my programmer it's reading one of these chips it's not not a problem of of the programmer because a lot of people blame the programmer okay both chips have been written so conclusion these two can be easily read with uh, xprog or this uh, this mask can be read without any issue